The typical inspection workflow start by creating project and inspection. Click Open Add Project, select a specific folder on your computer or create a new folder for your project. Then click Add or Open Inspection, select an existing folder or create a new one that will be placed in the project as a subfolder. At the second step of the inspection workflow, configure the system by either opening a setup or creating a new one. In this example, we're going to use Edicurrent Bobbin Tube Inspection. So you just uh, define the material and the wall thickness of the tube, select the appropriate probe for the inspection. Uh, default setting are normally good. Uh, until the mix that you can define if you want to create one to suppress the support plate signal. Then you define landmark, uh, usually using the low frequency absolute channel. And from there you can keep going with the default information until you reach the display configuration where you can adjust the strip chart duration and also select the layout that you want to use for the inspection. Complete your configuration by selecting the file format. Here for tubing inspection we can select zone row column and we are ready to go. In the third step of the inspection workflow Prepare your inspection by creating a new list. Type the name of the zone, number of rows, and number of tube per rows. Move to the front stage and fill the inspection summary. Inspection list is already prepared. Remove some that you don't need to inspect or add new tube with the plus button. Step number four, calibrating the system. Start by connecting to the instrument. Insert the probe in the tube and press NULL and then start acquiring. Adjust the layout the way you want it by changing channel, scale, and component displayed in the header of each view. Move to the calibration ribbon, select system calibration and measure each reference name by selecting the appropriate signal. Click Calibrate. If required, you can review the sizing curve. And then save your calibration file. Type the name you want to have. and the calibration file will appear at the bottom of your list. For the data acquisition step, 
return to the home ribbon and disable the setup mode. Now, when you select a file in the list and start acquisition, the data will be directly recorded into the file name. Press stop to move to the second file. Keep going with start and stop to completely record your list of files. If you come into a file that cannot be recorded because it is plugged, for example, assign a feature to it with a right click on the file name. Then keep going with data acquisition. If you're alone doing the acquisition, you might want to see the, the file name in bigger digit. Activate the large screen display to help you with your data acquisition. Anytime you can tag a file with a shortcut key T uh, and tag it for review. When you're doing so, you can later on filter the data list and only show the tag file for a quicker review. Keep going until you have finished your list. In this example, I'm going to stop here so you can disable setup mode and disconnect from the instrument. For the analysis step, you just have to read back the data and select relevant indication and from the LISAJU enter the appropriate code representing the indication. You can add more than one defect to uh, the data file and they will all be um, sent to the report automatically. You then read successive, successive file and do the same uh, interpretation for each data that you have acquired. If you want to enter a no defect code, you can either type N, uh, select the NDT code from the LISAJU, or click the no defect button. The symbol for no defect will be placed in front of the data file. You can keep going with your analysis this way. You can notice that each time you take a report entry, a screen capture is taken. You can also add note to the data file so that uh, they will stay in the report and in the uh, inspection list. In the data file, uh, in the data folder, uh, you can filter uh, the information and only show the tag file to simplify the list that you're looking at. You can also remove the messages and the screenshot if you don't want to see them while you're doing the analysis. Keep going by reading all the file or adding defect if you find suspicious indication. When you add defect on a tag file, the tag information is automatically removed um, and replaced by the, the defect symbol. Once you have completed the analysis, you can um, consult the report that was created by clicking the bottom a report tab uh, in the view and uh, look at all the information that was collected during the analysis. If you want to review one file specifically, click on it and the file will be loaded and the indication selected with the appropriate cursor position. The last step is to generate the report. From the backstage view, click Generate Report, select the relevant section, add the picture of the component, and define the number of tubes that was present in the heat exchanger. You can fill the summary with relevant information related to the inspection and add a comment. And when you click Finish, the uh, Report preview is generated with the uh, report summary on the first page, the instrument setting, the calibration uh, results, and then the component information along with the statistics of the report, the defect table, and the screen capture appendix where you see image taken from each report entry. You can then export to Word 
Excel or PDF or print it to a local printer.